how many tortoises were you able to, to actually spot and what do you do once you find one? Yeah, so the Conserve and Protect donations um, allowed us to survey an additional tortoise plot in 2020, which is fantastic. The, the funds from Mother Road Brewery allowed us to do more in 2020 than we've done in the past. Allowed us to survey a plot in the Harkavar Mountains, which is a um, kind of northwest of Wickenburg, about an hour or so. Um, it's a one square mile plot centered in some really rough um, mountain range, um, great tortoise habitat. Uh, the plot that you guys funded, we were able to find about 35 animals or so, wow. which, which was great. Yeah, yeah it, it's actually a nice uh, kind of uptick from what we found in 2017, the last time we were there. Um, so it was great to see kind of this nice upward trend there. Um, but yeah, when we find an animal, um, usually we have to pull it out of a, a cave or a shelter or something, you know, and uh, they're like little tanks, you know, they don't want to come out and they fight you. Uh, but once we get them out, we, we weigh them, we measure them, um, and actually we mark them so that we know that we found that individual and we can keep track of that animal. Um, so it's given um, an ID number that's unique to that animal, and we actually notch the tortoise as well. So on the tortoise, if you kind of think of how it's built, um, they have scoots, um, they're kind of like the... Uh, the little kind of trapezoidal things that are on the top of the tortoise and we actually notch those um, and each scoot has an own, its own number uh, so you kind of create unique IDs when you notch those so that's what we do. Uh, we try and visit that plot four times uh, usually for about a week stretch uh, so we've spent a good uh, nearly you know 20 days or so on the plot um, 10 hours a day yeah just searching every nook and cranny of the plot. Are there any other organizations outside of Arizona Game and Fish Department that will use the data that you've collected this monsoon season? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service actually will use the data that we collect uh, in their determination of the listing for the Sonoran Desert Tortoise. So the data we collect is, is vital. I mean, it goes towards, you know, whether this species needs to be listed under, under the Endangered Species Act or not. Um, and so that goes right to the top of, of agencies that have a, you know, a say in what happens with the future of the species. That, that's, those are some pretty powerful implications of, of that data, for sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, which is, which is great that we're able to do an additional plot, thanks to you guys, because uh, the more data we can get on this species allows us to get a better picture of how they're really doing. Uh, and there's a lot of concerns from some folks. There's others that say that they're doing just fine. And so really, so we've completely, you know, no one was using it for anything. We use the MCL uh, and we can get that easy enough. And so that's what we were able to do uh, thanks to the Conserve and Protect donations. We're so happy to be a part of this type of work. Glad to have you guys.